And we are following that breaking news in Montville this morning. Crews are on that scene of a large overnight fire at a scrapyard. We go now to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio. She just spoke to the fire chief there. Patricia. Yes, well, I have to tell you that this was really an extraordinary sight driving along the highway coming up to this fire. The huge billowing flame smoke, red, orange, yellow, just pouring from this area. It has now subsided a bit. And what you're looking at now is the tremendous amount of smoke that continues from their effort. As my camerawoman Beth pans up, you're going to see all of those big white and gray thick flames, uh, uh, smoke, I should say, pouring up into the night sky here, or early morning sky. Let me set the scene for you here. This began around 1 o'clock this morning. They tell me they got numerous 911 calls. This is called Connecticut Scrap. This is a scrapyard, and according to their website, they take vehicles, heavy machinery, all kinds of batteries and different types of equipment, and that is presumably that is what is burning here. There is a very uh, toxic smell in the air. Of It smells like chemicals, essentially. We spoke to the fire marshal and asked him about whether those chemicals are affecting the neighboring homes in the area. All the air quality is being assessed, which is why DEP is on scene. Uh, if, certainly, if there's any, any concern, uh, we will, that, the operation will shift to that. But at this point, there's nothing to indicate that there's any safety concerns. There's also nothing to indicate that there were anybody here at the time in terms of anybody injured or killed in this situation. There are some 13 agencies here, many, many tanker trucks, and they are continuing to work on this. If you notice, you're going to see yet another one in the parade of fire trucks coming by, heading to this area to get it fully under control. That is the latest from Uncasville. I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.